We back up in this thing, man. That shot me Chetty match done inspired me, bro. I have to get better. I have to get better. So I'm finna get the grind in. I'm finna do moving stationary shots by Become Elite. Same channel I followed last video with the dribbling drills. So I'm finna see what these moving shots talking about since y'all say um, I shouldn't just do straight stationary shots. So hopefully this will improve my form. I'm gonna try to hit with the laces like y'all telling me to in the side of my foot. So we gonna see what goes down, man. So the first drill we're gonna do is called the stationary shot. So what we're gonna do is put the ball on the PK spot and you're just gonna take a few steps back and just lace the ball right down the center of the goal, 10 times with the right and then 10 times with the left. All right, so I'll come to the conclusion that free kicks, penalty kicks, that's just not my thing. I'm just not a free kick, penalty kick guy. I'm just like mid game, if you pass me the ball while they help move it, I think I'm confident that I'll knock that hoe in. But if it's come penalty time, yeah, don't call me up, bro. Some of these shots was good, but a lot I was toe punting because I was trying to lock my ankle at the same time, and I was focusing so much on locking my ankle. It just wasn't, it wasn't working out. I kept toe punting it, you know, every time. I still don't fully understand the locked ankle thing, and I'm trying my best not to golf club swing this hole and hop when I shoot. So, yeah, we working on it, man. We working on it. So drill number two is the rolling shot. For this drill, what we're gonna do is just put your foot on top of the ball, and when you're ready, roll the ball out about two to three yards to the diagonally to the right or diagonally to the left in front of you, and then just approach it and hit a moving ball on target. It doesn't matter where it goes on the goal, the focus is just on getting great contact with the ball and making it go exactly where you wanna go. Now this is the drill, the main drill that I really wanted to try. Now comparing what he was doing compared to what I was doing, every time I get to the ball, I ease up. I don't know why I do it, but I just I almost broke my ankle right there. I ease up before I get the ball so I can focus and lock my ankle and kick the ball like in the right position at the right spot. I just can't run full speed and kick while I'm in my momentum. That's what I notice. Every time I get up to the ball, I like ease up. And I don't know how to stop from doing that. This was a nice switch up from just hitting stationary shots. I was trying to aim at each corner, as you see, you know, I was trying to aim for that bottom right corner, but the ball just flew all everywhere. So I say, I'm gonna just keep aiming for the middle, bro. <laughs> the third drill is called the move the shot. So what you're gonna do is put one cone about at the, the semicircle of the 18 yard box, and then walk 10 yards back and put another cone down. You're gonna stand at that far cone with the ball at your feet, when you're ready, you're gonna dribble at the cone with pace, and then you're gonna perform a move. It can be any move, it can be a shoulder dip, it can be a step over, it can be a double step over, elastico, it doesn't matter. Just perform a move, hit the ball out, diagonally past that second cone, and then fire a shot on goal. You should treat that second cone as a defender. So you wanna do your move about three to four feet in front of it so he can't steal the ball from you. Now I ain't gonna lie, this drill is fun because I can implement what I learned from those dribbling drills into like, you know, into regular shooting. Look at that, you see that little side step? I missed that one. Well, I missed that though, I ain't gonna lie. I was feeling myself on this drill though. I was getting a little jiggy. Why wait till I pull out some of these moves? Look, toe tap, toe tap, little side step to the side, ball roll. Is that a ball roll? Now I don't think that's a ball roll right there. Look, look outside the foot shot, look three bell attempt. And then I got the juggling the ball right here, you know, trying to practice on my juggling skills. I'm still not really that good at juggling, but I have got better. I don't, to be fair, I don't really practice juggling or nothing like that. But yeah, I like them toe taps, man. That's my favorite move right there. <laughs> you see the little toe tap to the side of my right foot. I was imagining myself as Leo Neal gliding across that box real gracefully, having him dragging on the ground before I shoot. You know what I'm saying? Watch this step over. I say, oh, it's time to upgrade. <laughs> It's time to upgrade. Look, look, half step over on my mama. I was getting jiggy. I was getting jiggy. I was feeling myself on this drill. I ain't gonna lie. This whole was fun. This drill was fun. Look at that. Look at that step over. <laughs> I was feeling myself. Then I got a little bit too jiggy, you know, stomping on foot. And then you see the little foot stutter step? You see the little foot stutter step to get them something to think about, get a defender something to think about. After the move to shot, we're gonna do the cut into shot. For the cut into shot, we're gonna stand on the corners of the 18 yard box and you're gonna roll the ball parallel to the 18, almost along that 18 yard box. And you're gonna roll it about five yards in front of you and you're gonna approach it exactly parallel with the line and you're gonna hit a moving ball to the far corner using the instep of your foot. And then we got back to the ball roll drill and I ain't gonna lie, I think my shot was kinda improved compared to the first drill when I did the little ball roll. That little dribbling drill kinda improved my shot just a little bit. I ain't saying it improved it greatly because I still don't know what's a good shot or not that I do. That's like one drawback of me 
just like practicing by myself. I don't know if I shot a good. I know that was kind of a bad shot. That hoe kind of rolled outside, you know. I had to go get it. Yeah, this hoe had me tired as hell going to get them balls, and it kept happening too. This is one drill where my ball. Look at that. It happened two times in a row. I say, God damn, yup. This is what draining my stamina, cause I actually did good on my stamina. This time, you know, every time I go out to play, my stamina is always a drawback. But today, my stamina was straight. But as soon as I kicked the ball over the thing, I had to go get it. You already know, I am stamina drained. I am, I am finished, finito. The fifth and final drill is the back to goal turn and shot. So what you're gonna do is stand on the semicircle of the 18 yard box with your back to goal. And you're gonna act like you have a defender posted up on you. So you, when you're ready, you're gonna dip one way either to the left or right, and then with the outside of your foot, you're gonna push it and tap it out diagonally kind of behind you to either direction. And you're gonna spin, quickly turn, and then you're gonna fire a shot on goal using the instep of your foot, and you're gonna just try to finesse it into the side netting. You're not gonna go for power, it's just gonna be a quick, fast shot away from the goalkeeper. Now this whole, this was fun. This drill was fun. I like, I like drills where I can get jig and I can work out. Forget just shooting stationary ball. That's why I did this this YouTube video. I I, I want to get jiggy. I want to practice on getting jiggy. I don't want to be no striker. I don't want to be no striker no more. I want to be a goddamn. I don't want to be no winger either. I really want to be a midfielder. But I, I need to I need to work on my passes, bro. I need to work on them passes. Ooh, look at that face shot. <laughs> look at that pump fake shot right there. I'm telling you, I was in my bag. I was in my bag today outside of them stationary shots. Hey, boy, I missed that one. God damn it. You know, I had to go. <laughs> had to go fetch. I had to go play fetch on that one. But I was in my bag today, man. I love these drills. I'm going to try my best to play in real life, man. I'm going to try my best because I see how y'all say this is the only way to get better. Because without playing people, I wouldn't even be in situations to do shots like this to do drills like this i think this is one of my favorite shots yeah they look good i think that one look good let me know down in the comments if that shot looked good right there and then i booted it over the fence again not the fence but over the little post and i said this the last one it gotta be a good one i actually don't even think this was a good one but i just was like whatever bro i, I take what i can get i'm already tired that's about it man huh that's it i'm through for today Good little workout, but I'm still shooting with my toes and whatnot. I'm going to continue practicing. I'm telling you, I'm motivated ever since that charity match. I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. My stamina improving. I've been doing some dribble moves, dribbling and stuff like that. Hey, it's coming. It's coming. I still might need to hire me a personal trainer, though. But I'm trying, y'all. I'm trying, man. I'm out.